my YouTube. Um, I took yesterday off, as you guys might notice from the lack of VOD yesterday. Um, I really just needed a rest. I've been working on some new ideas. Um, working on like Photoshop and I was editing videos and I was working on a new video idea. I just, I didn't, I, I wanted to just take the day off. So thank y'all for that. I feel very rejuvenated. Um, but I think we might beat, we might beat Explorers of the Sky main story today. I don't know. Cause y'all know I'm blind. So let's, um, let's, let's get started. And as always, my controller to my pink Mio DS is like never plugged in. So I have to restart the game. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Love that so much. But yes, I hope everyone's been good. Thank you, Froggy. Let's I'm trying to incorporate more f hairstyles for when I lose my curl pattern because my curl pattern only lasts like a day. And if I use heavy products to keep the curl pattern, it just like makes my hair really weighed down. So like this is me trying to, because yesterday I had fresh curls. I was looking cute. Like those videos that I posted yesterday, that was fresh curls. Um, now it's just kind of like everywhere. And my hair is always kind of naturally everywhere. So I was like, let's just embrace it. A tussled, a tussled double, you know, moment. Um. Hi, Pommy. Okay, give me just a second. I'm trying to open up this game. Um, I did work on some new. Um. Oh, see, yeah, I've been working on some stuff in the background, but I haven't incorporated it into the stream just yet. But I have been working on new layouts and stuff too. Um, or like updating it, but it's just like not in yet. Um, this morning, this morning I meant to incorporate it, but I got caught up with my dragon type video. Um, I had to re-edit it because I had forgotten something and then it just took me like two hours, but y'all don't care. <laughs> um, I just want to say the editing on your new vid is so good. The glitch effect on Salamence caught me off guard. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Okay. Sorry, everybody. We're just get, we're, we're now getting started. Um, so did you guys like the Pokebob video? I really, I kind of liked the energy of that. What did everyone think of the Pokebob video? I kind of love how Lisa, Belossum, and Shaman appear when you choose. I kind of like it too. <laughs> Loved it. It was so good. Well, yes. I kind of like, um, well, let's get into this and then I'll start yapping. Because y'all know it's about to be a dungeon. Just want to make sure it's in the, okay. Thank you, Torben. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for four months. I hope you've been good, Torben. So, y'all know, those of you who know, know that I like to make like a nice short form series, but it's been a minute since I found one that like really works. And I kind of like the idea of like, like obviously this is going to be part of a bigger video, but I've noticed recently, now that I'm like handling YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, I have like an attention issue. Like I really need to like give myself tasks to stay productive. So I had to give myself a task of like, okay, you need to start studying these bobs, but you, I know that I'm not going to just do it naturally. So my task was make a little video out of it. It's a good way to study because it's like, if you can speak it, then you know it, and then you can move on to generation two. So like, that's what I was doing. And it's kind of cool to like, incorporate what I'm currently researching into the content. Um, and I know it's like, I'm researching Pokemon Bobs. Like, I know it's not that serious, but like, it's like my job. And I always want to like do content that feels new and original. So I am taking it a little bit seriously, <laughs> but um, yeah. I just wanted to know how people thought about it. I thought it was funny. I love that people were leaving comments like, girl, this is so random, but I kind of like that. I like that energy. Thank you, Pinky. After the Bob, we need the bang off. Well, I was gonna do, if we did Bobs and like that was successful, I was gonna do ponytails next. Cause I feel like there's a lot of ponytails to talk about. Um, but what's cool is like, we started it off, but like generation two, cause y'all know me, I like to look at it chronologically. 
Generation 2 already starts like a really cool conversation of like the chronology of like the character designs. Like, okay, so I'm gonna reveal it to you. Um, Smoochum is the first Pokemon in the National Pokedex to be introduced that actually has a bob. Like, Smoochum is the first Pokemon to have a bob. Like, yes, we had Jinx that had like long blonde hair, but Smoochum is the first Pokemon to have a bob. And I just think that that's like cool trivia. Okay, um, let me pay attention. Girl, that was scary. <laughs> do you have a really choppy bob wig to wear for the Pokeball video? <laughs> I do have a bob wig. But this week I decided that I'm just going to wear variations of this look this week. Um, because I've just been getting in my head about like how I look. And I feel really cute in this right now. So I was like, I'll just like keep this look for the week. Like this is this week's look. <laughs> Um, give me one second. I got a ping that's very important. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, smooch in the pioneer that you are. Oh, girl, careful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. No, this... This is make or break, actually. The Mewiverse will shatter and cease to exist without a girly pop scholar's insight on Pokebobs. And that's why Smoochum is mother. Boba Peter trivia could never. Well, the funny thing is, Teddy, is like, I noticed when I was doing this is like, a lot of my content has been me sort of... When I say this, I really want y'all to know that I'm just like, I don't, I don't think it's like that serious. But really the stuff that resonates with people is me just like having fun, like categorizing things that I like in Pokemon. And, like, obviously I'm going to gauge it in a way that's going to be entertaining to people, but, like, I genuinely like diving in and seeing which characters have bobs. Is it important? No. But is there anything else on the internet that's talking about the bobs of Pokemon? No. So, like, that's, like, my niche. <laughs> so, in a way, I am kind of creating, like, a video encyclopedia of my hyper-focus. <laughs> Hi, Velvet. <laughs> Which, I mean, I know at once, sometimes it's not going to stick. Sometimes it's not going to stick. Hi, Comet. Thank you, Melt Pink. Kudos to you doing all that research because I genuinely had no clue about so many of these characters. I, that's another thing that's fun, too, is like, yes, I'm talking about the bobs and stuff, but like, it's like kind of double in that like I'm also like I was discovering characters too that I thought were really cool there are some characters that I did not cover in the shorter videos but like as I've been doing it I've been learning more about these characters I just I don't know there's like certain personalities that have never been mentioned before and I think anyone who just like genuine like generally likes Pokemon might find it interesting like you know it's like a minute video it's like it's <laughs> look at this character you've never seen before <laughs> hi damsel if Porygon tries to join the team, please name it Gumdrop. What about Virtual Angel's comeback? Oh wait, Magic, were you here for Virtual Angel? New hair, new team. Yes, I'm giving new jeans. Even though new jeans as a group is no longer a thing, um, it, they will live on through me. I don't really know the, the story on New Jeans, but last I heard, their group is like no longer a thing because that company is like imploding. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, the thing is with, with New Jeans is they're such stars that I really don't think that they're like as a as separate entities, those performers, I think that if they if their group ended up like disbanding, they would all just get signed and like have a successful career. Y'all, it's nice being in chat. My kids are always hating on the stream, but I'm listening in anyway. Hi, Manny. What about their Fortnite collab? Did they? I thought it was um, PUBG. Everyone make sure to purchase your biology, Bobology textbooks for the next week's seminar. <laughs> Hi, Kawaii. I am going to record um, Johto today, um, but I don't know, I don't know how, um, how consistent I'll be for the rest of the week because this, this series just kind of, it kind of just started like this morning when I woke up and I saw the engagement on all the platforms, I was like, oh, okay, we got a new series. So I, I I'm going to try to be consistent about it, but I do have enough information to start on Johto today. So after the stream, I'll be recording that. Um, 
sorry, I got myself distracted because I'm trying to figure out how to clear my inventory out here. Stream TTYL. They kind of ate that up. TTYL, K-pop's been like really serving like, like, like girly pop music. Like not to make everything girly pop, blah, 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 um, but like they, K-pop's been like across the board. The girls are being fed. <laughs> I mean, Johto is Bugsy, so let's just say that. Johto is like actually really exciting. I'm excited to share the stuff that I've discovered on Johto. Um, there's still a group, but the drama with their com company and the company's parent company is crazy. I can try and find a blurb that sums it up. Yeah, because the last time I was paying attention, um, it was like when it first started, and I was like, girl, y'all know how it is. Sometimes K-pop like label drama just goes for so long, and I'm like, just release the new song. <laughs> Can't wait till we get the Overwatch chapter of the Bob series and it's just Ash ulting. <laughs> Overwatch Bobs. Me in 2027. Overwatch Bobs. <laughs> Me in 2028. Who has the best... Um... <laughs> Girl, who knows? Who knows at that point? Genshin Bobs. Somebody left a comment asking me to redo the Genshin tier list region by region, and I was like, actually, that's a good idea because that'll help me study it. Like, one thing I've learned with with Pokemon, not Pokemon, but with YouTube, is that a big idea is fun, but how do you do the big idea when you don't have the skills and the practice to, like, take it on? Because, like, sometimes a project is like, I can do it, but it's so big that I don't know how to do it. So like taking it chunk by chunk has been really good because I've been le like learning as I go, but still being able to produce content to pay my bills. Um, but like going region by region would be nice for me with Genshin because I am overwhelmed with the amount of content there is on Genshin. But if I go region by region, that'll help me to like do it because one of the challenges I've been facing lately is like I want to, I don't know, like I want to be more knowledgeable on the things that um, I do. Um, so, I've been spending a lot of time, like, doing more reading and things. Like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a really great way for me to, like, learn about more about Pokemon and things that I haven't learned before. Yeah, region tier list might be good. Diva's Bob on that one skin. Wait, no, Pommy and Damsel, y'all are right, because there are a lot of Bobs in Overwatch. <gasps> Wait a minute, are we entering a Bob era? Bobology era? Between James and Bugsy, Pokemon really love to represent a they them with a purple bob. Truly, truly. Redo Genshin, you know the girls know <laughs> now. So many PokeTubers have been struggling to find a niche on social media for years. It's incredible that you can show up and boom, ranking Pokemon Universe bobs. Well, Teddy, I, my, this is something my grandmother always told me. She said, go where you are loved. Y'all love me and y'all said, make a bob video. Here I am. My niche is y'all's idea. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mix in my ideas too, you know, but like it, it I'm I'm not blind to the fact that like people contribute a lot to this like this project. So anybody out there who wants to do Pokemon videos, just go on the internet. Okay, this is how I did it. Go on TikTok and start talking about your hyperfocus. Ignore all the hate comments, just keep talking until people are like, wait, I kinda think that I like you. Then people start vibing and then they help you with your hyper focus. Like I really do sometimes sit in my room and I'm like, I'm deep into this. I'm really deep into this because when I first started, I was like, this is what I think of you based on your favorite Pika clone. Now I'm like, these are all the bobs that I found in generation one. <laughs> like y'all got me deep into this. <laughs> Like, Pika Clones was such, like, a... <laughs> Girl, I never hated you. I said I liked you as soon as I saw you. That's crazy when you think about it. It's true, though. <laughs> like, there's no more... There's no more... This is what I think of you if you like fairy-type Pokemon. It's like... <laughs> Y'all you, you, already know. Um, but, yeah. Thank you, Teddy, for saying that. I mean, it is... 
sometimes it's challenging to to keep it going because like making content sometimes feels like I mean the well runs dry sometimes but um I don't know when it works it works and it's really it's really validating and fun it's fun like I love doing it like waking up this morning and like seeing because honestly now I make stuff I put it out and I don't look at it I'll like look at the comment section for like the first 30 minutes to an hour of a video but I just don't look at it anymore I just move on to something else because like I will like get very focused on the numbers um, and then I'll let it sit for like 12 hours and then I'll look at it and if it looks good then I'll keep doing it you know so it was really fun because it's a fun idea um, and I do want to dig into it but I wouldn't be able to dig into it if I if nobody liked it you know because it would be a waste of my time this is what your favorite Pokemon Bob says about you and your personality <laughs> right see that's what's so sinister about Team Galactic they took the sacred Bob and made it so unbelievably busted we need a video on Chaewon's iconic Bobs thank you Rhoda Sorry, y'all. I've been yapping a lot about content. I try not to get too deep into, like, content brain, but that's literally been my weekend. I've just been so, so into that, and y'all know I'm passionate about it. Um, but I know some people don't make content. They're like, girl, what are you talking about? I don't have any max elixirs. Thank you, mother. Thank you for eight months. Engine Pokemon crossover always sell. We need a girly pop iceberg meme. Like, the top would be Gardevoir Girly Pops, and the depths would be 40-inch ponytails of the Pokemon universe. I feel like we're... I don't even think that we're in the depths yet, Panda. I feel like, as a community, <laughs> we are, like... We just left the second tier. I really think it goes deeper. I think it goes deeper. I think it goes deeper. Um, but it's exciting. Th these horizons... I mean, just the Bobology horizons really are just so exciting for me. It's, it's fun. It's fun to feel as though, as a community, we have hit a new threshold and the horizon immediately, like, it was foggy. Oh my goodness, just like that. Just like that. Oh my god. I'm telling you, there's magic in the air. I've been saying it for weeks. <laughs> Hi, Super Mishy. Welcome. <laughs> Do you think we could categorize the Pokemon into different Zodiacs? See, that's a big gap in my knowledge is like, I'm kind of bad at, I'm, I'm honestly trying to learn a little bit more because I do think there's a lot of crossover with video games and astrology just from an entertainment perspective, but I don't want to speak on astrology or anything like that until I feel more educated on it and I'm kind of layman's with it right now. So it's kind of hard for me to go into that. Um, Mind you, oncology is the newest field of study under the girly pop umbrella. Wait a minute. That sounds like a real word. Oncology. Oncology. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, speaking of Chaewon, did you see she covered Honey by Kehlani? I didn't see that. I love Chaewon. Uh, Chaewon singing. Oh, I didn't even know about that. I didn't know that lore on that song, damsel. I made a, I made my BF Watcher videos, and he doesn't usually interact with girly pop content, but you popped up on his FYP, and he said he's now contaminated with girly pop. Kawaii, tell him I said hi. Um, that's really something I like. Do make a concerted effort to like try my best to speak openly and not so much in the vacuum of girly pop, because I do think that a lot of people can appreciate the aesthetic and understand that it's an aesthetic. It's a way of enjoying things. Like for a handful of my videos in the tier lists, I try to like mention like, hey, I know that some people are, have come across this video and they don't think that they're girly pop. But I feel like if you get it, you get it. Like it's not necessarily girly pops only. It's like, if you like this conversation, I wanna have it. <laughs> it's MTV night. Are you team Ariana or Taylor? Is it really MTV night? Um, Well, I don't wanna pick a team, but if I had to, I think I don't wanna with your head It's breaking my heart To keep breaking yours again This situation ship has to end But I just can't refuse I don't wanna break up again Baby I made 
it is so easy spend so much on therapy blame my like, girl eternal sunshine is such an amazing album eternal sunshine is such an amazing album it makes me mad <laughs> it makes me mad how good that album is wow 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 ariana <laughs> that album is amazing that album is amazing and you know oh my god we knew when it came out that it was good but it, as the dust has settled she put it out and the dust flew up in the air and it settled down and that album is still shining that album is still shining as if it just came out like Oh my God, I'm listening to Eternal Sunshine today. Wow, Eternal Sunshine is an amazing album. Okay, it, Meowth, get up. Uh, yeah, I told my boyfriend, I said, babe, I know that you're not into musicals. I know that this makes me sound like a crazy person, but Wicked is coming out in theaters and Ariana Grande is starring in it. Like, I want y'all to know, I, those of you who have boyfriends who have Kawhi watch, having your boyfriend watch Girly Pop, I want y'all to know that my boyfriend is in the same boat. He gets it, but it's all new to him. And imagine, <laughs> imagine how he feels <laughs> living with me, right? Um, I was like, babe, this is just a Girly Pop thing. And I really want to see it. I would like you to come with me because I'm going to go watch it my, by myself. He did not want to watch um, A Star is Born. And I was like, I totally get it. I'm going to go watch A Star is Born. But I wanted to ask if you wanted to watch Lady Gaga sing on the silver screen with me. He loves Gaga. Don't get me wrong. It's just A Star is Born is just like kind of off brand for Gaga. Like, we get it. The girly pops here get what I mean when I say that. Wicked, though, he was like, I might actually want to see that. I was like, Ariana Grande is playing Glenda, the good witch. I had to explain to him who <laughs> um, Ooh, Reviver CD is... But yeah, everyone forgot about Yes And too. No, sometimes I listen to Yes And and like that intro. Y'all know that video of um, that meme of Trisha Paytas, she's laying on the ground and like her ghost comes up. That's how the intro feels on Yes And. Cause when Yes And first came out, it was like, oh, it's a single, you know. But that song has aged like fine wine. Hi Zofar. It's such a healing album. Her voice is beautiful. Like, literally finished a whole box of tissues after my first listen. <laughs> it's Eddie so That's how I felt when my boyfriend asked me to watch Joker. And now look. The thing is, is I told him, I was like, I don't want to go on opening week. Because I'm a theater kid. And I've been in theaters on opening week of other musical movies with theater kids. I'm not that kind of theater kid. I like theater. But I'm not in there trying to sing and dance alongside the actors on the film um, I'm there to observe so I need to make sure that I go on a day and a week where the theater kids have all seen it they've all tweeted about it they've all TikTok about it I'm going with my boyfriend and we're watching the movie I don't need I don't need the twink in the corner going ah, like no you were not cast into this film <laughs> <laughs> I just know, I just know that that will happen. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't think about A Star is Born without my mind going into Trisha's cover show. <laughs> and like, I'm not here to hate on it because that is how some people deserve to enjoy the movie. Wicked would not be on film if it wasn't for the theater kids in the back singing those songs for the past decade. They deserve opening week. That's not my place to go. That's not, I'm, ve I'm being very mindful and very cutesy. Look at how mindful and cutesy I am planning out my Wicked viewing. I'm not going on opening week, you know? <laughs> That's not my place. <laughs> I, wanna, I want to experience the pop culture. <laughs> That's just, it's just not, it's not my place, you know? 
Now, it's their right to enjoy the movie like that, but not in a public place that is... <laughs> I will sing that sound chick down at home, but at the theater, I will be silent. Oh, at home, babe, I've played every role. At home, I've already done the audition. At home, I've already gotten the Grammy for the album, as well as the Academy Award for best performance in every role. Like, at home, it's a different story. In the theater, I am the audience, you know? And that's, that's really the job of an actress really to know when to turn it on. Um, I'm torturing myself when it comes to Wicked because I love the musical so much, I'm not watching a single teaser. Oh, me either, Voce. Hi, Voce. But that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Not looking at any promo. Yes, that's the way to do it. So that way when you see it, you just, it's all, you know. This song, Scream Ends Game, it's the way that I can't attack anything that's screaming end, end game. Like, they really are beating me up. I should, like, leave it to me to, like, bottle up three days worth of yapping into the final, like, dungeon of this game. Because I'm assuming this is the last dungeon. Because, um, girl, I know Turchwick's like, whoever's controlling me must not like me. Who was who's Jack into into the woods on his resume? Say that's the Oh my god. Into the woods. It was your fault. It was your fault. And it's not my fault at all. No, because every guy who got cast as Jack, we all know that guy. This is deep cut for theater kids, but we all know the guy who got cast as Jack. Like you know, oh my gosh. No. Because the real girls wanted to be the witch. It doesn't matter who, what, when, where, or why. If you audition for Into the Woods, secretly in the back of your head, the baddies wanted to be the witch. The baddies wanted to be the witch. <laughs> the baddies wanted to be the witch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not even a hot take. I want to be the witch every day in every story. Exactly. You look at the you look at the character list. You don't even have to be in theater, right? You just look at the character list and you look for witch. If there's no witch, then you choose another character. But the first one is witch. Like Little Mermaid, I want to be Ursula. If I can't be Ursula, I want to be Sebastian. Like I want to be the witch or the gay jester. And that's fun. That's my type. Like <laughs> In Aladdin, I want to be the genie. Now I know that that would be like new to see me as the genie. Oh, girl. But I think that I think that I have what it takes to really expand the possibilities of that character. Um, hi, Fawn. How are you doing? I am pumpkin that. <laughs> I'm good, Boche. Thank you for asking. Now I think I'm. I think. I think this is bad. Ursula's your alter ego. The fact that Ursula hasn't been cast as a drag queen yet, even though Ursula's design was based off of Divine, the fact that, like, I don't even know if Off-Broadway has had a drag queen play Ursula, that's insane to me. I will say that having more queer people represent um, Audrey in um, Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop. Little shop of horrors. Anyway, um, having more queer people represent Audrey really fits because I feel like it doesn't really matter like what type of like LGBTQIA plus you are. I think we all love Audrey for the feeling of like suddenly Seymour is a song where she finally finds love and she feels seen. And like that emotion is something that I think a lot of the Alphabet Club really resonates with. So like it's so gorgeous. Speaking of which, speaking of Audrey, Jinx's episode in the Trixie and Pati Patia Trixie and Katia podcast last night, yesterday. Amazing. I really love that conversation. I love Jinx on Zoom. Okay, sorry. I need to see Eureka as Ursula. <laughs> Girl. 
Jinx talking about ASL. I really liked when she was talking about the atoms and how time repeats itself, but y'all know me. That's how, that's how, that's literally how my stream is. <laughs> I was listening to Jinx. I was like, is this how I sound to my audience? Another quake. That quake was really strong. Well, yes, it must be getting worse. The tower must be falling apart faster. I'm not sure, I'm sure, I'm not sure it's true, but if temporal tower controls time like Lapras said, then if the tower collapses, our par planet's paralysis will begin. So let's move it. Yeah, we gotta go, let me save though. Fawn, I'm telling you right now, once the story hits after this dungeon, you will not be ready for the story beats. I'm excited. It was really great pickle. I didn't want it to end. I could listen. I, If Jinx just like, actually no. I feel like it would, at a certain point, I would be like, okay, I think she's tired of talking. But like, if Jinx more regularly was able to put out stuff, like if people were able to like ask her questions about like life and her perspective, and we could get a weekly podcast on that, I would listen down. I would listen down. Put her, like, give her a set, like, give her a set, like a, a show kind of like Delta, give her a set where it's kind of like the drowsy chaperone, like backstage in the theater. It would just be the set, you know, like her and like a cigarette and like questions about life and art and theater. Like I would listen to that for hours. Yeah, I saw that Salamance and said, okay, I need to pause and get this yap out and then focus on the battle. So let me focus on this battle because <laughs> there's a Salamance, honey. Girl, I'm a turret twig. Um, Okay, cool. So the Salamence was all bark and no bite. Speaking of Salamence, have you seen my dragon type tier list video on youtube.com slash fun? In that video, I rank Salamence on a girly pop tier list. Trying to figure out how girly pop each and every one of the dragon types is it is or are. Like I don't, every time I edit that video, I say is or are, and I never really know. I just sound country when I, in my, in my head, I'm like, girl, you are so country. We're trying to figure out how girly pop each and every one of the dragon type Pokemon are. Like, that's what, that's what I hear when I'm editing that video. <laughs> you just watched it 10 minutes ago. Hi, Edo. That's literally me when I make videos. <laughs> and the thing is, is like, I'm, I like my Southern isms, but like, I don't know. It's just like, I have a certain feeling of how I present, like I record it and I present it a certain way and then I watch it back and I'm like, oh my God. I laughed at the Dratini line switch of like, LOL mother, mother and oop. <laughs> it's cause I knew some of the people who haven't seen the TikToks were gonna expect me to give Dragonite mother. I have warmed up to Dragonite, but at first I did not like Dragonite. I love my southern tea, but I must hide it. I think I think it's cute to be southern now. Um, I think there's a de there, I think there's a big delineation between um, the different types of southern now. Even more gagged about Dredigan not being in Skip. That gagged me too. But when I sat there, I was like, I have to be honest. And in all honesty, in the back of my head, after I like the thing is, is I. Oh no. Okay, let's, okay, okay, okay. Um, with Pokemon, it's so unserious. Like I can just be very honest about like how I feel about certain Pokemon. And like when people tell me like, girl, I don't agree because of this and this and that. It's just Pokemon, so I'm like, okay, I'll listen. And when I was like ragging on Dredigan, like yes, I'm stubborn, that's a Taurus in me. But I was listening, I was like, you know, I'm open. I'm receptive to some of the things people are saying, and I do think Dredigan is like actually kind of cute. It is kind of cute. Now that people have like contextualized it for me, I think it's kind of cute. Um, I still don't like the jagged textures on it for some reason, but that's that's me. Um, cut the cameras. Could not agree more with the assessment of Dragonite. Like, why did they have to do that to us? Hope we get a split third evolution. It would be nice if they gave us a new regional or a new like gimmick form that made Dragonair look like a third evolution. Almost like superior or something. 
Oh yeah, the girls are riled up about Joltik, but I mean, I get it. Joltik is cute, but in all honesty, I just don't think that Joltik really has a lot of presence. Like I, I try to think of Pokemon that have presence. Like when you bring up Pokemon to people who aren't very into it or people who only casually engage with it, Joltik is kind of one of those Pokemon that only like the, the deep cut fans know. And like, it's cute, but I just, I don't know. I think it struggles to really sit in the spotlight. Now we're using a lot of Reviver Seeds. <laughs> so I really hope that um, we survive because I don't have any Max Elixirs for my Giga Drain. This is so terrifying. Okay. Thank you, Skora. Scor Thank you. I like Shiny Dreadigan way more than the regular Dreadigan. See, I try not to go on tangents about Shinies because Shinies opens up a whole can of worms that I don't think I have the capacity to like keep contained within the conversation of doing a tier list. Like just for the sake of like the video and keeping the video organized, I just can't bring up Shinies. I do bring it up sometimes when I think that it would be interesting to see the Shiny for the audience. Like Shiny, um, Jeng Mo'o's like final evolution. I think that's like a gorge Shiny. Like if you're clicking on my video to hear me talk about like girly pop Pokemon, I think that you would like to see the Shiny if you don't know about it already. But the Shiny is like a whole different conversation because like... In my opinion, Diggersby becomes a really iconic rock type girly pop in its shiny form. Like imagine a Lopunny with a shiny Diggersby or like even a shiny Lopunny with it. Like that's such an aesthetic, like a bunny coated aesthetic. But it's a different conversation for the normal form. The yapping might not let us survive. I think we're making it. Hi, Jesse. Diggersby's ground type, see? And I don't know anything about Pokemon, so I don't know why anybody's subscribing to me. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. Rock, ground, tomato, tomato. Ground is the more girly pop version of rock, in my opinion. Like, I didn't really have such intense opinions about rock type until after that video. Like, the rock type really does kind of flop in some ways. Um, girl, if you have no max elixirs, we are in trouble. Yeah, it's feeling that way, right? Because now I'm out of, um... Now I'm out. Okay. Meowth still has the, the Screech Scratch combo. They have hidden gems, though? Yeah, for sure. Oh, right. I forgot about Synthesis. You're right. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I also have some orbs, too. Let's, um, let's go ahead and start being more liberal with these orbs. Not gonna lie, I would love to hear you talk about how girly pop every single shiny is. Like, you could look at the placement from your tier list and then see if their shiny elevates how girly pop they are. Hey, that's actually a good structure for it. Um... Oh my goodness. Um, I do want to talk about this. Like, eventually I will talk about the shinies. It's just, I want to find the right, like, framework for it. Good God. Meowth. Okay, Meowth, I got it. Okay, okay. We gotta go to sleep. I can't handle this. <gasps> oh my god. Um, I probably won't talk about gym leader fashion. Beyonce vocal cords, I do want to bring back in like a newer, more in-depth way, a sort of ranking of every um, gym leader. But that's a pretty big video. Um that I haven't really crossed the threshold of. My girl Meowth is going to go to... Oh, it's over. It's over. Hi, FKA Pearl. We are in here struggling in this dungeon. We're in the tower trying to save Dialga or whatever. Um, and I was yapping, and now suddenly I'm like fighting for my life. 
Oh, Ado, thank you so much. Um, I just now saw that. Um, somebody donated it on the throne. It took a while to get here. They donated it like weeks ago, but it took a while to get here. Um, yeah, this dungeon is a little hard. Let's... Oh my gosh. Synthesis. This is nuts. Like, I'm literally stuck in this one little area. Okay. It might be best to go back to the start of the dungeon to be more conservative with items and moves. I think it's possible. I think that we still have a chance here. Um, I'm just, like, in a really bad spot right now because... I was like funneled into that area. They normally give you like a fresh reset if you make it to the boss. And we have enough synthesis right now. Yeah, if the dungeon just drops a max elixir, then I'll be a okay. Um, right now, I'm just trying to tank while Meoth heals. Because Meoth has like a pretty good attack. Um,. But they were taking a lot of damage from that discharge. Do I have a berry for the poison? I actually do. Thank you. I was just like waiting it out. Okay, let's use that berry. Okay. Prevents poisoning. Let's see if it heals it. Nor. Eliminates. Okay. I think I gave myself the wrong thing. I gave myself a P.E.K.K.A. scarf instead of a power band. Um, instead of a P.E.K.K.A. berry. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Let's sit here and heal for a bit. Okay. Now I'm okay. Yeah, see, Meowth can, like, one-hit it. Not the virtual angel running up. Girl, she sent her entire army. Um, like, literally every single member of Luna is, like, after me right now. <laughs> They said hi, 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 hi. Oh, I want that. Thank you. This sort of <laughs> Porygons are ruining my life. Is there any niche of Pokemon you'd really like to see? Like either design or gameplay wise? Um, well, one of the cruxes of like videos that I make is like, what do I want to see on the internet, right? Um, so that's kind of filled in some ways. I do like, hmm. I do think there's like a big opportunity for some, like something that I really lack is there's a big opportunity for people to like really start carving out like a girly pop meta. Like that, that thing that I'm hosting today is kind of like something like it, but it would be really cool to see people like who are really good at the meta be able to I don't know see I don't know because like then that goes into like subjective opinions on what is girly pop so I would I, I would like to see more representation of like girly pop Pokemon in like VGC but that goes into like meta and things like that I'm trying to think of like what niches I would like I don't know. I really don't know. This is so cursed. Isn't Clefairy really good in meta right now because of his ability? I think it is. I think it's like a good support. What are you hosting? Um, on o October 5th, there is a um, charity VGC tournament that um, Shiny Dex is hosting called the Girly Pop Cup. And it's going to be spooky themed. And it's based on... Um, some of it is based on my um, my rankings on my videos. I didn't ask them to do that, but they found it compelling. Well, Meowth, since you took a reviver seed, please do something about it. We need a region based on India or West Asia. In the Hoopa movie, Ash and his friends go to region. It 
that is West Asia coded and Hoopa's item is a little genie bottle. Yeah, I think, I mean, every time that we've seen it, like that, Copper Raja, every time we've seen a little bit of representation, it just shows how much potential is there. Um, they just haven't done it yet. Magic Bounce is one of those moves that, like, really has been out there. Um, really been out there for us. Like, Magic Bounce really has been out there for us. <laughs> Mild, we gotta go, girl. We have got to go. This tension is hard. Let's make a save state right here. This is a hard dungeon. I can't handle this. I can't handle this. We have got to get out of here. We've got to get out of here. Load the save state. Oh, it's a good thing I have that. Let's see if we can keep pushing. Meow. Oh my god. Wake up. Wake. We gotta go. Mioth is fighting, girl. Oh my god, Mioth. You are being so... Oh my god. Do I have... I don't have one of those orbs that makes them come to me. <gasps> I have an idea. Get back immediately. Oh my god. I don't have anything. Okay, go. This is so messed up. 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 Girl. See, if I was being a purist and I wasn't streaming, girl, I would have been like, well, let's just try it again. But I'm also trying to finish the story. That was so messed up. I wouldn't have even found the stairs. Look at how winding it, winding this place is. Oh my God. Where is it at? <laughs> what is going on? What is really going on? I just know those are Gloomalo's besties. Yeah, they tried to jump me. That's me with Outlast and Little Goody Two Shoes right now. I stay saving every five. Right, because like if it was like a different story, um, I would just be like, whatever, I'll just play it again. But we we're we're on a time. We're on a we have a scheduled time. I I gotta get progress, babe. Um Mioth, please do something. Actually, let me not rag on you, Mioth, because you have been doing well since you stopped being confused. I'm sorry, Mioth. I'm just a little bit stressed right now. These pouring... <sighs> Stream virtual angel, I guess. Uh-oh. Mioth, you're about... Thank you, JJ. Please, 
Like, I can't even get out of the room, y'all. I can't even get out of the room. Oh, wow. Okay. Are boar worms girly pop? Yes, they are. But we don't like them. Not the boar worms, but they are like, they are girly pop. It's just like, not, not the boar, you know? I don't have any max elixirs, Nox. If I had max elixirs, I would not be sitting here stressing out like this. Creasing my makeup. Like, it, you know it's not a matang. You, you know it's bad when I'm just, like, skipping every item. Okay. Wait, this looks like Pokemon Platinum. This looks like Pokemon Platinum. Is this the top of the Temporal Tower? Whoa, lightning. Look at the sky. Above my head, you'll see a sky. It's incredible. Incredible. Red clouds are swirling. Whoa, it's happened again. The tower feels like it's going to fall apart any second. Let's move it. Don't tell me there's more dungeon, girl. Me gigantamaxing? That'd be funny. Oh, you can actually see my mouse cursor. That is so embarrassing. Sorry. <laughs> Um, what is this? It's, it has a mystical air to it. There's a big circular pattern. Inside are indentations that look like they've been gouged out. What is this? <gasps> Wait a second. The gouged out indentations, there are five in all. Five slots. That means... If 2 plus 2 equals 4, and 7 plus 8 equals 15, I'll do it. It turned dark suddenly. So it's you. You seek the destruction of the Temporal Tower. What? That's not true. We came to prevent the front time from stopping. Time stopping. Time. <gasps> Mialga! You dare bring ruin to the tower. No, you've got it wrong. We want to prevent the tower from falling, Mialga. Silence. For all those who threaten Temporal Tower, I will show no mercy. Hi, Evan. It's no use. Mialga won't listen to us. Mialga is losing control because time is breaking down. But this isn't the primal Mialga in the future, tainted by MLO. Mialga isn't fully consumed by the power of MLO. There's still a chance Mialga can be brought back to reason. There's still hope. Turns to use Razor Leaf. <laughs> I'm not doing the vocal stem. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Can you not tell I was I I avoiding it? Wait a minute. Ah, ah, ah. You know, I could imagine like Megan slipping on this with like a, a beat underneath. Okay, okay, okay. This is the moment we've been waiting for, me Mio. Mio. The first, the first time in the timeline that we've discovered where MLO has an, attempted to invade and we must put an end to it. I have nothing. I have nothing. Okay, so let's start using Razor Leaf. 
Boom. Okay. <laughs> Mio, can you do something, please? Go after foes, please. I'm running away. You gotta go in. They said, they said traumatize these kids. They said initiate the trauma. I know that the 10 year olds who got this game for Christmas were sitting at their DS crying over something like this. What was the reason? This took you months. Well, I'm going for a ranged moment. Dude. What? Hold up. What? Hold up. <laughs> Stop following me. If only Mialga streamed TTYL. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't be so stressed, girl. Okay. You have to be together with your partner. I wonder if I can hit it. I wonder if it has like a bigger hitbox. Okay, let's try this one more time and then I think we might have to go back and grind. Some people are saying that I need to be together to soak the damage. Okay, let's try that. So I'm gonna have them go after foes and I'm going to switch these moves to something and then make a new save state. Just so we can have that set up, that strategy. You can heal with Giga Drain and Synthesis. You're right, Miss Gagbag. Okay. Okay, that's what we're gonna try. Oh, it missed. Exactly. Okay. Um. I wish there was a way to taunt. He's going after me, oh. Okay. Well, she's already got get go after the enemy, so I'm just going to get in his... Oh, gosh. I was trying to get in his face, but I got the wrong input. Oh, well. Hi, Comet. Okay, now he's going after me. Giga Drain. Actually, let's do Synthesis. I wish I could heal Mio's. <laughs> what on earth? One more time, and then I think we might have to actually grind.
going right after Meowth. Leave Meowth alone. Leave Meowth alone. Stop it. Everybody's missing here. We're all missing. <laughs> this is nuts. You don't need to grind what items do you have? Okay, let's... I think I I think that we can. Somebody said 700 HP. If they have 700 HP, then this is possible. It just needs the right RNG, basically. <laughs> so let's let's organize. I don't have any seeds. That's the thing. I used up all my seeds. Um. I don't I I don't have anything. I don't have anything to use. Okay, 103. Yeah, okay. Ooh, Dialga, don't do not do anything crazy. Leave me alone just for one turn. One turn, leave me alone. Power band? Throw grimy food at him? Really? Let's try it. I mean, that's all we got. Somebody said power band. Let me check that. Yeah, the power band boosts my attack. Let's try to throw food. <laughs> Mialga caught it. And threw it back. <laughs> Give power band to me oath. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That is so funny. <laughs> she said, girl, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> okay, let's try to throw it again. Catch. Girl, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> hi, KB. Wait, I already said hi to you, KB. Robbie's saying hi. I think everyone's saying hi to Robbie. <laughs> we got to stop with the misses, babe. Boom, just like that. Okay, no more grimy food. But we can... I fought again. <laughs> I do think the power band might help. I like when he lines up to me. I mean, we're doing damage for sure. I wish there was a way to get his attention though. Synthesis here, synthesis here, synthesis here. When he does the roar, it's like so broken. Yeah, the roar hits us all. <sighs> like, why is Mioth missing? Yeah, imagine if Mioth hit five times in a row, that would solve the issue. Um. Otherwise, we just need revival seeds. I need to like get up in his face and keep aggro on myself. I think we gotta grind it. I think we gotta grind it. I don't think, I don't know. I think we gotta grind it. It's 
Sometimes makes foes cringe when when they attack. I don't think you need to. You just need reviver seeds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is like go find reviver seeds. Um, let's do leaf storm. I didn't even do that much, man. Just missing, just missing. Yeah, I need reviver seeds. I mean, we can do pink Mio. Wait a minute. Girl, yeah, we can do pink Mio um, DS stuff here. And just hope that we get a reviver seed drop. One shots, there ain't no way of surviving that. Did I lose stuff? I mean, I didn't, There, there's not really anything in here that I, I'm worried about. Wait a minute. I think I lost that band. No, there's something that Meowth has on that I don't want to lose ever. The mobile scarf, I don't want to lose that. check. I want to see if you lose it every time. Okay, I didn't lose it that time. I'm making a save state here because I can't do that fight. I can't do it. Can't do it. I don't know if you can... You can't access storage from here. See, it's just save. We have to hope that they drop. eventually get it. I know, Robbie. I figured that they were going to bug me anyway, so I was like, you know, just go get them. I have a safe state, so I can just use the shortcut to, um, to keep saving it, you know? Anyway, what were we talking about before Mialga started, like, stressing me out? I forgot. I say prioritize fighting orange berries, orbs, and good seeds. Yeah, you're right. Abandoning boxes probably would be a better idea. I love my boxes, though. Honestly, having Meowth be a little bit more aggressive is helping Traverse a little bit. It's dangerous, but it is helping Traverse a bit because it kind of sucks when you're, like, stuck and Meowth isn't doing anything. Early pop meta in VGC. Oh, I was talking about like niches. Yeah, I don't really know what niches I would want to see. Like honestly, I'm not an endless reservoir of ideas. My brain is quite distracted with like many things sometimes. <laughs> so I really couldn't tell you what niche I would like to see. Just know that most of the content that I make is just me trying to um, do stuff that I do find interesting that I feel like I haven't seen before. The 
This zone is a nightmare. I'm sorry, you guys. I wanted to beat it today, but I don't know if we will. <laughs> but I do want to at least do what I can with the time we got today. That's a really crazy boss battle. Like, I don't know. What's crazy is, is that it would literally, like, put you in, um... Can I just... Just set that down. It literally puts you in like this loop. Like you have to keep doing this dungeon until you're strong enough. Yeah, I got an XI seed, so that causes hallucinations. It fully resists normal and grass. Per. I guess it's finally time for me to get my karma because like sometimes I am kind of just like walking through because like grass has just such a strong thing against some Pokemon and I can heal myself endlessly. Yeah, we got one good seed. If I can make it to the next floor, I'm gonna save again. Set makes it a set item. I would throw the items. Oh. Where's it at? Oh, you're right. Deselect. Let's throw that. Let's just keep throwing these. Meowth, please, girl. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Save state now. I don't want to lose that X seed. Lopany from Team Charm. I right. That's I was exactly thinking that. I was like, gosh, I wish Lopany was here. Well, Mioth, I hope you don't die. Hi, Julian. Welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome to the chat. We are in a we are in a pickle right now because um oh my god, Meowth is As you can see, we're in a pickle. <laughs> Cause girl, this is ridiculous. Okay, Mio, stop, stop now. Can I make it to the thing before Meowth dies? Like, please. Just made euros and lemon pepper for- Oh my goodness, that sounds so good. So for anybody joining right now- The thing is, is you have no choice but to go through this way. Um, for anybody joining right now, I'm crying. This is so messed up. Chunsoft, this is so messed up. Why were y'all doing this to people? Really? What's going on? Would escape orb count as a death? I'm worried that it's gonna count as a death, but I guess we don't have a choice. Like there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do this. I just don't wanna use, I don't wanna lose that seed. Oh, we didn't lose the seed. Okay. Goodness. Girl. I can't access storage from here. That that thing only lets me save. Okay, we're, we got a level. Gummies. We might honestly use these gummies as well, because... Yeah, 
Yeah, let's let's give let's give Mioth some gummies. Oh, just one. Okay. I'm not well that would defeat the purpose. I do wanna beat it in like the purest way possible. Just for the sake of the stream though, I'm not gonna be like, well, I can't use fast forward because technically you could. No, it's 2024. I only got like 50 more minutes of a stream and I want to get as much progress as I can. <laughs> okay. How much did you miss, Gabe? Well, we made it to what I think is the final boss, but girl, Miyaga is not here to play. She's mad about those gears. Very mad about those gears. Um, but it's okay. Team Mule Explorer... I mean, this is really... It's really good for character because Team Mule Explorer is going to come out of this much stronger. Do you have any TMs that can cause status... Good question, Divide. Let's see. What does Embargo actually do? Teaches, okay. Move afflicts a target enemy with, can't use items, okay, no. I have explosion. <laughs> I don't think I have anything. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got nothing, girl. Please be a reviver seed, please be a reviver seed, please. Slip seed. Induces sleep? I don't... That's not what I'm looking for, girl. What type does natural gift turn into in temp tower? I don't know. I didn't even know it does that. Let me look at that again. The moves type and power will change based on the kind of berry the user is holding. Well, if we can find a ground berry, I have, what berries do I have? I have Rost, Cherry, I have Rost and Cherry Berry. I want to keep exploring for items. Um, you can't use orbs in boss battles. Reviver and Reviser Seeds make it ground. Oh my goodness. That is so cursed. Girl. They said, what's the craziest dungeon we can make? Let's put that at the end. Shout out to that. Not, not this. Decoy Orb, Rossberry. Like, these Pokemon are coming up at me. Like, I I don't have time for this right now. This is so crazy. Oh, my God. I do... I should pick up... I said I should pick up Orbs, and it was a trap. I find life and violent those do fighting. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Mioth, your turn. See, every time I say go with me, Mioth like doesn't know how to fight anymore. Go after foes. Well, I heal, girl. This is really insane. Now 
Notice how Meowth is doing nothing right now. Persim makes it ground type. Okay. Are you okay, Meowth? <laughs> Whoa, Meals, what's going on? Okay, somebody asked, can Meals learn Dragon Claw? I don't think she can. No, nobody can learn Dragon Claw. Meals was just giving Miley stare, hoping that her face card could help us through this. Like. I'm really about to sit here and die. Has she run out of PP? Oh, she might have. Okay. Do we have an escape orb? I don't. I don't. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're okay. That's what was happening. This is... It's not like it's too hard. It's just like hilarious that this game was like built to kids. Because I wouldn't have figured this out as a kid. I would have been like, I guess I can't beat the game. <laughs> hey, roll call would be nice. Let's heal up. Oh, okay. The Watson Gym. It does kind of give that, doesn't it? For those of you who don't know, Watson really gave us a run for our money in the Emerald Girly Pop Lock. Okay. <laughs> oh. What's up here? Luminous Orb. Girl, this is really... Like, every move counts here. I might have to use an orb. Hi, Cat for Help. Welcome to the chat. We are fighting for our lives in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Welcome. Survival stream. Um... Petrifies all foes. Okay, heal a bit. <laughs> I would just start resetting during the pre-MLO. The Algo fight until you get lucky. It's that or I mean, either way, we're kind of just like waiting on RNG. Um Dude. Can you not even just auto attack, girl? Cause now I'm out of heals. Blast seed? I don't think I do. Let's see what we lost. I have XI and Slip. Those are the only seeds that I've picked up. XI and Slip. I still have my scarf and my power band, so I'm pretty okay with losing whatever I lost. Hito, hi. It's going well. We're trying to stock up for this fight. We're hoping to get a reviver seed. You'll pray for me. It's really hard. Yeah, it's pretty hard. <laughs> Sleep seed. I mean, does that work? Would that work on Mialga's sleep? I 
It's a good seed. Okay. We'll save that. It does? Okay. So we have we have a good amount of things then. We have a good amount of things. At least more than what we had. Let's see if we can keep progressing through the floors though. Yeah, if we can get a Reviver Seed, then I, I'd feel a little bit more confident. The main thing I want is a Reviver Seed. Now, here we go with Meowth again. See, every time every time I don't want Meowth to attack, I have to switch it. But now that it's on that, she's not going to fight at all. Did I ignore Barry? Orin. That'll actually be helpful. Let's just check over here. Nothing. That's all I have to heal me of. That's true. That's <laughs> all I have. Oh my god, help me, please! <laughs> okay. Reload. Get the orange berry and go. You're so strong. <laughs> oh my god. Save state after every food at this point. The way that I would like literally have a total meltdown if I was a child doing this dungeon at the speed that the game originally plays at and then like a Salamence comes up and like one hits me. Look at, they won't leave me alone. You'd see me in the news. Right. Like, you get right to the last floor, and then suddenly it's like, wide slash. Info. Move inflicts damage on enemies on three tiles in front. Diagonally. I don't need that. I need something that destroys Dialga the Pokemon. Is there a Dialga f finisher? Anti-Dialga? Ice Beam. <laughs> it's called Reviver Seeds. Vacuum Cut. Like, these amazing rare TMs. Ice, Ice Beam. Bl Please go away. Please go away. Go away. Oh, this is nuts. This is truly messed up. Am I in a monster house? We gotta save after this. Sadly, no, just unlucky. <laughs> I'm existing in some sort of context, girl.
Oh, look, it's another Porygon! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. 15 Porygons. All with Discharge. Mio, fight them. Girl, at this point, I'm starting to get very angry with you. Stay away, Orb. <laughs> Warps enemies to the stairway? Who would use that? This is so messed up. Throw that away, it's MLO. <laughs> That's an Orenberry? <gasps> the quickness with which my character threw that. <laughs> I can't do anything. Y'all see what they're doing to me? Do y'all see this? Yeah, we gotta use the stair warp. I'm sorry, we gotta use it now. Oh, it only uses it on one. Great. Okay, so can I move yet? Nope. I know I can heal burn. I know I can do that. That was the orange berry again. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Look at how Mio's not doing anything. Like I'm really getting mad at Mio. <laughs> The stairs and Mioth isn't doing anything. <sighs> Mioth, you have stuff to do. Somebody said, Gaby said, wide slash on Mioth. Let's try. Mioth can learn wide slash. Let's get rid of assurance. And then, team, Mioth moves, turn that off, turn that off. Mioth, you have to go and do this. You have to go, Mioth. You have to do it. I have no other moves, Mioth. Like, oh my god. Meowth. I can't use an orange berry on her right now because the whole point is to use it in the dungeon. <laughs> I just, hi, Samurai. Wait, I might be able to throw something. No, I can't. I have to... Welcome to the chat, Molly. Welcome to the chat. Night Slash? What's that do? High critical hit rate. Sure. G 
get rid of payday? I like payday. Okay. Meals, please. This is so scary. This is so scary. Um, we just gotta just go to the next floor. Start over. Will it hit is the question. Right, Hunty. Will it hit? That's the question. She walks through walls because she has the mobile scarf. You've got to stop. You've got to stop, Porygon. You've got to stop this. You've got to stop, Porygon. I am fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my life here. Save state. <laughs> Yo, I am so focused. <laughs> this, this stream turned into me yapping about whatever I was yapping about to me fighting for my life. I was trying to heal. I was trying to heal. I was trying to heal. Please. Please. <laughs> I'm trying to heal. <laughs> I don't have anything to eat. What if I eat the grimy food? I burned myself. <laughs> Where's the link? Okay, 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 okay. There's literally, they're not gonna give me a reviver seed. Like this is, this is how life is, right? You need a reviver seed and nobody gives it to you. Sword stance is pretty cool. Um. This is the last floor, so you might as well save. What is it, 10 floors? Okay, well that's good to know. I thought it was like 14. Why? <sighs> help me. Like, I'm like begging the AI to help me. <laughs> Neil, help me. We just gotta go. We just gotta go fight. <laughs> what in the world is this game? I can't even get back to the stairs, honey. Okay. Well, we got some seeds. We got some seeds. So let's see what we can do it this time. I didn't put sword dance on anybody. But Meowth does have screech and stuff. So turn one, I'm going to do a sleep seed. Or at least I'm going to line myself up and then sleep seed. But we have to make sure that Meowth, Tactics, go after enemy, and then moves, turn that stuff off. All right, let's go. Boom. 
Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. It failed. Uh-uh. Come on. Well, we know we can at least sleep it. What does XIC do? Throw it. Yaga can't see properly. Get up. No. Keep fighting. Keep fighting it. Grab her hair. <laughs> like, we are fighting dirty today. Grab her by the. Grab her hair. Mialga. I mean, Mioth. No. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Mioth needs to stop messing around, though. She needs to stop messing around. We got this. Okay, Mioth. Fury Swipes really... I'm gonna keep going with Fury Swipes. I'm gonna save it right here. And I'm gonna try that sleep again. That was a bad start, but... Okay. Bad start. Retry. Just miss after miss after miss, girl. Like, do what I'm doing. 98 points after how many turns? I'm so sick of you right now, Mio. Like, uh uh. Uh uh. You gotta. I had to use the seed. I should have used the seed. No, don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> Ooh, don't eat it. I'm doing more damage than Mioth is doing. So now she's running around like crazy. I'm gonna heal. I don't care what you do, Mio. Like at this point, I don't even know what to expect from you, girl. Mio, please hit it. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Thank you, Panda, for gifting the sub. Watch them hit me. Oh, <gasps> that was so clutch. Okay. Somebody said use Giga Drain. It's not gonna do that much damage. It's not gonna, oh my God. Okay. Meowth. What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? What do I have? With the slip seed, put it to sleep. With the slip seed, put it to sleep. Set Mio to run away. No, no, slip seed MLO, okay. Mio. <laughs> Get away from here, Mio. I've got this.
I'm gonna make a separate safe state just in case we can cheese this. Just in case we can cheese this. Run away, Mioth, run away! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was the most messy boss battle that we've ever done. Mioth running away <laughs> at the end. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> Mioth was running. That is hilarious to me. <laughs> we did it. Okay, it's time. While Mioga is down, I'll put in the time gears. The, um, Lisa on the clouds is hilarious. We, ne we never lose, yeah. Temporal Tower is, it must be nearing total collapse. If, if that were to happen, the destruction will accelerate until the planet is fully parallelized. We gotta hurry up. The floor is heaving. Meowth, do it. I did it. They're all set. Meowth. We are such a mess, girl. We gotta get back home. We are falling all over the tower. Like, I said the time gear's in place. Why isn't the quake stopping? It can't be. Was I too late? Will Temporal Tower keep falling apart? <laughs> Leave me with here at this point. Is it too late to stop the planet's paralysis? Girl. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like when you uh, try to cook that Subway cookie in the microwave and you do it for one second too long and now it's burnt. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When you try to cook the cookie in the microwave, but it's one second too long and it's burnt, too late. The cookie's done. <laughs> what a happy ending! <laughs> Where? Hey, where? This is Temporal Tower. <gasps> Mialga, you have no cause for alarm. I have regained my reason. What? Temporal Tower was taken heavy damage, but it has survived. Now, absorb. This is... Dialga must be showing this to us. Mialga must be using telepathy to do so. This place. It's Tree Shroud Forest. <gasps> Chunsoft really ate the drop of like... Come on. It's so artsy. Like, this game is good because it's stylistic. Like, it's... Okay. Time is moving again. That's me. I played the single dude drop. <laughs> it's Treasure Town. Everyone looks so happy. Buying products. It's Temporal Tower. It looks pretty beaten up, but... It's still standing. Temporal Tower didn't fall apart. It survived. 
Temporal Tower survived the crisis. Time has returned normal here. Thus, time has resumed in places where it had stopped. Because you stopped the ruin of Temporal Tower, the planet's paralysis has been prevented. The world's peace has been restored. Really? <laughs> Rose? Temporal Tower in the cursive? <laughs> We did it. We brought peace to the world. Allow me to thank you. I thank you for reaching the hidden land. You had the courage to stand up to me even as I raged out of control. And you prevented the ruined temporal tower in the nick of time. Thank you, all of this I owe you. Mialga. But all is not yet as it should be. It will take time. I must bear the temple. But the rainbow stone ship should still be operable, and Lapras should be awaiting your return. Okay, <laughs> let's go home. <laughs> Back to Treasure Town. Why is she out of breath? Because she was just fighting. <laughs> my John McLean. Oh my goodness, I love John McLean. <laughs> What's up? Let's pick up the pace. <gasps> That's right. I forgot. Oh no. My body feels heavy. What's wrong? Why am I struggling to move? It's like my legs are weighed down. Maybe now that we've changed the future, my own disappearance is drawing near. Y'all <laughs> stop shaking. Maybe things are settling back to normal. Let's go. Uh, this, this light. All right. Finally. The time has finally arrived. My time with Mio ends now. Hi, Matero. Huh? What is it? What's happening to you? Sorry, Mioth. I kept this to myself for a long time. It looks like I have to say goodbye. This is gonna be really sad. What are you saying? Deskmar told me if we change the future, the Pokemon from the future would disappear. That's why I'm destined to disappear too. What? Thank you for everything. No, because they had you trauma bond to this game for like the 50 hour playthrough that is the main story, including all the grinding and stuff, you know? And then this, it's no wonder like people were so, so like adamant about me trying this game out because like, I get it. Like this is, if you like girly pop, you like drama, you like performance, you like theater, like this is a Pokemon like soap opera. <laughs> never forget you. Wait a second. I managed to make all this because you were with me. Don't you understand? If you go, I I don't know what I would No, Miel. You have to be strong on your own. You have to live. You have to go home. Tell everyone about what happened here so that nothing like this ever happens again. The muse. The light is getting brighter. I'm glad we got to train together at the guild. I'm glad we got to go on adventures together. I'm glad I got to know you, Mio. Wait. I'm sorry. This is nuts. This is really nuts. Even after I disappear from here, I will never forget you. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. This really is, like, this really could be part of, like, the the community lore. Like, it fits so perfectly. 
Greg, not bye bye useless cat. <laughs> to live. I have to get home alive. Get home and tell everyone about what happened. Because it's... Hi, Osaf. <laughs> There's the Rainbow Stone ship. Dude, this is such a good game, man. Like, they really brought the narrative like in the style like i keep going back to the style like look at this this game was made in 2009 this game is gorgeous it's so dense with art in it this is such a cool game dude this is such a cool game <laughs> Now, Meowth, go and found Meal Brands. <laughs> it really is magic. Like it's kind of giving <laughs> it's kind of giving that. It kind of is Pokemon Final Fantasy. And so Fawn and Meowth finally succeeded in their mission and saved the world from disaster. Meowth departed from the Temporal Tower, traveled across the ravaged hidden land rode Lapras across the sea and safely returned to Treasure Town. Upon returning to the guild, Meal told everyone about the adventure, about what happened in the Hidden Land, and what took place in the Temporal Tower, and Coco, and Fawn. Of course, Meal also spoke of how the destruction of time was stopped, and how the world was restored to peace. Meal told the story whenever and wh wherever possible, to as many Pokémon as possible. It was a story that had to be told. It was a story of hope for world peace. There's so much character behind the way each of them move to and react. Yes, like, each character is, like, you, by the end of the game, you get to know every, like, even minor characters have a personality. So months passed. Treasure Town returned to its cheerful routines. The scars from the planet's injuries slowly healed, and life gradually returned to normal. Was Mioti the first division of Mio Brands? <laughs> the storytelling? <laughs> Howdy Mioth, going out? Out for a walk. Sounds nice. It'll be dinner time soon though, so you don't want to be late. Just like the beginning of the game, just like the beginning of the game. No, Chunsoft, you ate this up. Like, I want the universe to know that I acknowledge that Chunsoft created one of the best Pokemon games out there. Like, this is so cool. Just like the beginning, just like the beginning. Oh, the. This is so. I haven't seen this for a long time. It's just as beautiful as I remember. I've been too busy to come and see it, but I've missed this fantastic sight. When was the last time I saw this anyway? The last time was... Oh, the last time I saw this. It was when, when I met Fawn. Y'all. The view was like this that time too. This gives the, this is, I kind of want this to be like the perfect ending of Final Fantasy X-2, where my character is just on the beach again and Meowth runs up to my character. Y'all know that? <laughs> <laughs> the 
The crabby blowing all those bubbles along the beach. I noticed someone right here. This kind of gives Final Fantasy X, wait, this is kind of like Final Fantasy X if it was like a platonic friendship. <laughs> it all started with the sphere of you. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm sorry, Comet. Dang it, I'm sorry, Comet. Don't listen to me. There's more to it. They really made these 10 year old kids go through each and every cutscene of them being best friends. They said it's not enough. Make it keep going. Keep going. And whoever was in the studio with this soundtrack, I'm, it's like, I'm mad that people don't talk about this game more. This was a 10 year old's first AMV. It really was. Like, this is giving. All the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head, running through my. Like, that's what it feels like. Oh, that one, that one gagged me. That scene right there gagged me. Oh my goodness, when we escaped, that was tea as well. It's giving Angel of Darkness AMV, which would be followed up by <laughs> every time we touch. I still hear your voice. Yeah. All these flashbacks just show up how much of you have looks. did go through so much together oh my gosh this was there were so many adventures in this game I remember it all so fondly all those memories You've been gone so long, I took to worrying about you. What's the matter? Bidoof is such a sweetheart. And this is, like, actually the exact character that would be the shoulder to cry on. Like, that's how Bidoof is in the guild. Like, Bidoof is everyone's friend. Everyone loves Bidoof because Bidoof is so sweet. <laughs> yeah, springing it on Mio's right before she dies. <laughs> yeah. They end it just like that? Oh my god. No, shout out to that. That is cinema. Cinema, 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 cinema. That was good. That was good. If I was 10, I would have to skip school the next day. What? It is really sad for Meals, but like, props to them for taking it there. In a Pokemon game? It takes a lot to be able to take all those cute little Pokemon and create drama in that way. Like, <laughs> mm -mm. Explorers of Time is one of the best Pokemon games ever made. Like that was, it was fun because like, it was like, there was challenge mechanically, there was challenge in the story. Like I was feeling invested in so many different layers. And like, that's how, it, that's a good video game is, taking the medium and having the player be invested. Like that last little moment where we were trying to get through the final boss battle and the sense of relief when we finally beat it, 
in conjunction with the storytelling, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. With a gorgeous ending screen, like, oh my goodness. And it matches, it, <laughs> it matches the stream. Like this, this game was made for us. Get me a PMD movie and make it follow the plot. That would honestly eat. If they did like a high budget anime, not, I'm not talking about like 3D stuff. I'm talking about like anime. If they did like a high budget anime movie that followed the plot of this with like, actually like putting a lot of love into like the battle sequences versus like Groudon and Dialga and stuff like that. This would be really cool. PMD, Explorers of Sky really is one of the best games ever for me. I will never get tired of PMD. I do want to play the end game, but I'm not going to worry about that today. We'll, we'll explore the end game tomorrow. Make anime 2D again. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, sorry. Everybody who made this game, y'all did amazing. Y'all did so good. I say that as if like anybody here is like listening to that, but I don't know. When you, when you put things on the internet, things become permanent. So if anybody ever needs the compliment, y'all ate that. Y'all ate that back in 2009. Y'all really did. And you know it too. No, because like, if I made this game, uh-oh. Tropic Soul! Oh my goodness, thank you for a year, Tropic Soul! Thank you, Tropic Soul! Congrats on your gold kitty! How have you been? Everyone say congrats to Tropic Soul for a year. Thank you so much, Tropic Soul, for supporting me for an entire year, for real. Everybody who's been supporting me for this long. I mean, we've got people... It surprises me that people support me for a month. So, like, supporting me for a year, supporting all of this for a year, thank you so much. I hope you're you're good okay i'm glad to hear it okay meowth when you left here when you bid farewell to this place from the rainbow stone ship your sorrow it feels i feel its intensity and if this is how you feel even now i will grant your wish the world needs you both that is why i will trust you with a gift I mean, the future. Are we about to get a final gag order? Do the gag orders stop? This is my thanks. Please accept it. If I was a kid, I would be like, <laughs> like at this point, and my my mom would be like, "What is wrong with you?" How many people were scared? <laughs> I was really, really scared. Y'all, no, they know they ate. They know they ate with this. They know they ate. They know they ate. Oh my god. No, no, no. The director said, the director said, put end there. Put it there. Because they put it, no, no, no. They put it at the end and they probably like did like a little thing. They said, no, that's where we do it. That's where we do it. And you know, you know that the team, because this happens in movies too. You know that the team know they, they ate that narrative up when they give you the finished screen. Because you don't normally need to do a finished screen. But doing the finished screen is like, we did that. You know, that that's what the finished screen means. It's, we did that. <laughs> that's what the finished screen means. <laughs> and what, right? <laughs> they ate that up. <laughs> that's, when you do the finished screen, it, it, says, it says to everybody else in your field, your turn, I'm waiting. <laughs> Like, that's what it means. <laughs> okay, save state on that. I want y'all to know that I have... I have eight save states. Eight different save states for this game. That's how you know that you played a good RPG, is when you've been save scumming in eight different ways. 
they had a meeting afterwards and like so that was cinema right but like i was saying if i made this game i'd be like if like i was like in an interview if anybody asked me my contributions to video games i would say i was on the team that helped make pokemon mystery dungeons and explorers at the sky like you can't tell me anything i've i've done what i needed to do like <laughs> i've created an installment in video games that is significant not only for the genre but for one of the most important pop culture franchises of the modern day like like if i knew that i had even a hand in making this game i'd be like i i did it like that was my magnum opus <laughs> yeah it's going at the top of the resume right so i would i do want to mess around at the end game but i'm gonna let that all be a surprise for me tomorrow um let me save this one more time and that that's honestly like a kind of perfect ending to the stream so let's say bye to the youtube right so youtube i always forget that i'm recording for youtube but then i touch base with y'all and i'm like oh right i was recording this whole time um we've been through ups and downs today i yapped a lot about the things that were going on in my head for like three days straight then i started getting stressed inside the dungeon then Mialga really handed it to us and then we handed it back to Mialga and then Chunsoft handed it to all of us and said girl this is our show and now my show's done for the day so bye YouTube